Help me ducks. How are we doing today? It's Wednesday, it's halfway through the week, hump day or the turn of the week. Um, yeah, so as I said yesterday, when I did my live, I would uh, be doing a um, recorded video today because I want to show this fabulous, I nearly picked that up to drink, this fabulous um, set this kit, which is the White Newman um, Special Edition set. Um, now, it's in this beautiful box as well. It actually came posted like this. This is the outer packaging. I've just removed the label that had the, the name and the dress on the front. Um, so a little bit of a backstory. Um, I received Liminal 11 decks and uh, I do walkthroughs and review them. And this one was released back in April um, and it never arrived, which is, you know, I, I didn't know if it had just not been sent or whether it had gone astray. So I thought I'd let them know and they picked up the email and said, ah, OK, well, then we'll we'll send again if you're still um, interested in it. And it is a deck that I'm, I was really excited about receiving. So they have sent, which again was a huge surprise, rather than the deck, they've sent the um, limited edition, um, special edition I should say, which is also limited to 1,111, so 1111 um, copies. That's how many are available at this, at this set. I'm just going to try and make sure I don't get any um, light on this. I could probably zoom in a little bit closer, actually. OK, let's see how how we do with that. Now, I do have some other tins that were sent by Lemon 11. I've got the Modern Witch, uh, which is in the, the gold tin, uh, very much the kind of same uh, style and size as this. And then I've got Cosmic Slumber as well, which was in the circular tin. But this is beautiful. This is the back in this gold with blue. And then on the front, it's blue with gold, which is just gorgeous. And it looks like they're both lids. So let's, let's dive in and see what you get. So, I mean, this is the idea behind White Newman is that um, it is a, an animal, sacred animal um, themed tarot deck. And from what I can understand, it's, you know, from a time where we used to revere animals as, as deities, as gods, looking at old kind of uh, cave paintings as animals that were part of ritual, and, you know, as I say, revered um, long before the times where we started uh, personifying deity and, you know, moving them from the physical world to um, heavens and, and things like that. So I'm really excited. I'm wondering if now this is riveted in. So it's probably not a removable base. It's just the style of it. But isn't that gorgeous? Just look at that. The production of this is lovely. So we'll open the lid. Wow. So it's not a, a two part. It's it opens on a hinge and just have a look at what we've got in here. So we've got this little certificate of authenticity, which says I hereby certify that this is a copy of the White Newman Tarot Special Edition, limited to 1,111 copies. It's signed by the creator of the deck, um, which is Alba uh, Ballester. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Gonzalez. So Alba Ballester Gonzalez. Um, it's not numbered, but it's of 1,111. So a little certificate there. Then we've got this scarf, 
um, or spread cloth, however you uh, you want to use it, which is really nice. I like. I won't be able to open it out fully um, because of flames and limited space. But you can see the the center here, and that's a really nice um, spread cloth scarf however you want to it's actually listed as a, a scarf but um, it's a custom cotton tarot scarf I think that's what it is we've got this beautiful drawstring bag with this golden kind of uh, thread here which has WN for white Newman and that is really pretty really nice it is lined as well um, and it has the Liminal 11 um, logo uh, label on, uh, logo on the label, I should say. So if you like popping your decks into uh, pouches and bags, then this is a nice, it's a nice sturdy one. Um, looks like we have some stickers. Oh, we always like our stickers which are beautiful. I love the colours here in the, like the purples and the blues. We've got this gorgeous tiger, lots of stars and pentacles. And I'd imagine it's scenes, scenes from the deck. And I've not watched a full, a full walkthrough of, uh, of the White Newman yet either. So that's that. Oh yes, and there's an Oracle deck you get. Oh, I almost don't want to, um, <laughs> don't want to, but I will. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's no avoiding ripping the tissue paper. I'm like this Christmas morning, everybody else is like, just rip it open. So this is a print. Oh, more than one. Oh, we've got two. Two prints. So, deluxe prints of the Black Newman and the White Newman. Wow. So they're really interesting. So, let's pop them back carefully in the, uh, in the paper. Let me fold that first. <laughs> you can always fast forward my faffing around. If, if I remember, I'll put timestamps in as well so you can move between the different the different things. So I'll put the stickers and that there and the certificate. And then we have the two decks. So this one is Elba's Golden Constellation Oracle deck. Wow. Which is really nice. Now this is not available anywhere else so it's not sold separately it just comes with this this kit and then we have the deck which is in their usual lovely boxes and all the ones i've had recently even you know mystical medleys um the new lunar sol they all now come in this fantastic sturdy sturdy box and then you've got this um this insert here these trays for your decks which keeps them nice and tidy but they do remove quite easily so if you wanted to take this out and just put everything into a tin then you can do that as well so the packaging is really nice i believe this whole set retails at 75 pounds in sterling british sterling um but you know to say you get two decks the art prints, the stickers, the bag, the cloth, then that's that's really good value. All right, so we'll have a quick look at this Oracle deck because I know absolutely nothing about it. I do like this uh, flip top, almost like a cigarette box type. It's very, very sturdy. Um, it's got the Limin Liminal 11 torches on the side. Um, we've got a little band around the cards. They're square, um, which and about half the size, I think, of a tarot, maybe a bit wider. Um, so, yeah, 
just over half the size of a tarot deck, but it's it's wider. So let's have a look at what this is about. So we've got a little hardback book, and Lemon and Eleven do these kind of old ladybird style hardback books, which I adore. You've heard me mention before. So creating an oracle is the strangest of journeys where all possibilities lie open. We are abandoned at the gates of the unknown. The grand mysteries of the tarot are compounded by the lack of the usual guides. Those symbols and archetypes we relied on are no longer with us on this new dark path. Yeah, so that's the thing with an oracle, you see. Uh, with, with a tarot deck, you've, you've got a, a structure, a system, where an oracle pretty much can do its own thing. Every oracle deck proposes a journey that can only be comprehended by itself. In the Golden Constellation Oracle, I have used the map of the cosmos, associated Greek myths and personal reflections as the fount of inspiration. Is that, should that be font? But anyway, fount for fountain. Uh, with so much mythology and ancient wonder embedded in our understanding of the stars, what better way to explore the universe within? Good luck, be kind. <laughs> and I love that. Um, so it goes through each of the, oh, we have like constellations like uh, Taurus, the Serpent, Volpecula. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce a lot of these, Orion, I'm not, as I've mentioned before, uh, into astrology very much. Um, Gemini, Virgo, etc. So we get this little book, but let's let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so these are the backs as well, and these backs are really, really beautiful really nice you can see the the metallic star in the center really nice cardstock is beautiful really nice thick cardstock um and as i said i'm not going to i know that that's androm andromeda andromeda <laughs> but i'm not going to be um pronouncing all these but it's really nice that you get an extra little deck um, in the kit. I think in previous kits there have been things like pin badges and things like that but this is quite nice and if you are, oh, give them a little bit of a break, if you are into um, astrology and the cosmos and constellations then I like the uh, the line work as well. Every so often we get this kind of goldy, bronzy colour. That's beautiful. Gemini twins. And this is um, Elba's signature. Because that's what's signed on this certificate card. That's beautiful. So I'm surprised that these aren't available anywhere else. So if you do want them, it's going to have to be by purchasing um, the set. Feels like there's two together there, but it's because the card stock is really, really good. We have the cream. Oh wow! Look at that the Southern Cross.
So that's the bonus Oracle deck, which is really nice. We'll take a look. What I'm going to do for the cards is do what I normally do, um, which is I'll do a flip through so you can have a look and then I will return um, at the end with with my thoughts about about the deck. Um, I don't think you need me to say much more about the packaging. You know, watch any of my white Newman, uh, white Newman my liminal 11 reviews oh wow so it's gilded for this edition i don't believe it's gilded for the um, standard edition now they do put these little bits of cardboard in just to keep the cards nice and secure but for me that's more about for trans transport because it doesn't you know once it's on my shelf they're not going to get uh, damaged um i'll just tell you a little bit about the book so we've got the instructional guide and this is what's all over the tin, which is really nice. Again, it's the hardback type book, 2021. We've got a forward by David Aralana. Introduction, Major Arcana, Minor Arcana. Reading the tarot, spreads and the extra cards. Um, and then this comes, it tells you a little bit about White Newman. The word Newman conjures the image of the primal gods who in millennia beyond comprehension were once our all. Yes, that's true. Our ancestors, our ancestors knew how to tremble in the presence of that little abyss within the eyes of the beast. They knew how to recognize the bond with creatures radically different from themselves whom they venerated but at the same time, whose death meant food, thus life. This ancient conflict reveals the connection between the sacred and the sacrificial and how rituals of cyclic regeneration evolved. It also speaks to us about the origin of art. Wow, here it says, thus the word Newman with the strength of a magical word evokes an image of these revered beings. Yeah, and over time beasts became domesticated and humans went from painting Newman in the roof of the caves to painting them in the ceiling of all ceilings, the celestial dome. God started to adopt human forms and went to live in the sky. That's what I was saying. Yeah, so it's, it tells you a little bit about the deck there and then some instructions um, and it goes into the major arcana and then we get a, um, looks like we get a page each for the majors and then when we go to the minors you get um, a paragraph for each, each card. Uh, Oh, and there's some extra cards as well. All right, so I'll take this band off. Um, give these a little bit of a... Oh, I love that sound. This is just so satisfying, breaking in a new, a new deck that's got gilding. I think that's done it. This is gorgeous, actually. The gilding is, is really nice on this deck. All right, so let's do the flip through.
Okay, so that's the flip through. Oh, what a beautiful deck. The burst of colour um, in the majors compared to the minors. When we get into like the ones, we get these orangey um, tones all the way through. Uh, cups is, is these beautiful blue, as you'd imagine, for water. Then we have like a sandy grey beige colour for air and then we get this beautiful green for pentacles which is absolutely stunning so it is well constructed as a deck it's, it's really well thought out it does follow um an rws loosely but it kind of does its own thing as well particularly with some of the majors and the minors um in terms of size i think it's a pretty standard yeah, it's a standard tarot size cardstock is wonderful this is a thick deck as you can see and the cardstock is really really good i showed you the backs um at the beginning but if you haven't watched the flip through and you want my thoughts then it's not reversible um as you can see but it's the, the backs are beautiful so i i just love it i love the colors i love the fact that uh, i mean there are some nudity very minimal um but i love that this is kind of taken from anywhere in the world it's of a an age gone by um but you can see lots of different kind of cultures represented i love that we've got um, a same-sex couple the snake um appears quite a lot <laughs> snakes feature so if you don't like snakes um that might be a problem but you know you do see snakes i love this chariot card Look at this chariot being carried on the back, this creature, this beautiful creature. Um, I thought the hermit was incredible. This is an incredible hermit card. I just want to read from the book, actually, what it um, says about the hermit card. I'll hold it up so you can see it. Um, keywords are inner journey, wisdom and solitude. So pretty, pretty standard. The Hermit holds a lot. So it does describe the scenes in the card as well. The book does go into that detail and describes what's being depicted, which I always like. The Hermit holds aloft a lamp which has guided him all the way here to the portal. Through this portal, he will not leave this world, but transcend it. Once a beast, now he is raised to walk upon two legs and has an almost human appearance. He is accompanied by the spirit of a snake and an eagle, friends to those who abandoned the accepted ways of the world. The hermit's one remaining barrier to passing through the portal are his antlers. For only by losing the last vestiges of his former life can he move forward. Only then can his journey inwards begin i love that that's written beautifully and isn't that a fantastic image ah oh, really beautiful oops and as you can see the uh, look at that the hanged man <laughs> i love the art style it's gorgeous look at her with the feathers and for the temperance card the devil's really interesting look how you can just see the whites of the eyes i do want to have a quick um look at what the devil says because when i got to that card in the deck i was like oh, that's really interesting for a devil um card so it says the bible describes lucifer as an angel whose beauty surpassed the rest the fall took its toll, yet he remains more beguiling and seductive than the goat beast as which he is sometimes depicted, and all the more terrifying for it. The left eye is void of sight and bruised with experience. Oh yes, I didn't realise it was bruised. The right, a black mass of creativity, inspiration and temptation. The reverse pentagram on his forehead represents desires that overcome reason. 
with renewed strength and subtle new forms the omnipotence of the devil adapts to each new age the devil confronts us with the terror of living alongside the evil of the world wow and that could be written for something like this Asarabito as well you know how the devil adapts it's not a necessarily a, a goat headed uh, fallen angel it could be the person next door so yeah some of these cards are really interesting i mean look at that for the judgment card i need again i need to read just to see what they're saying about the judgment card because i look at that you know and i don't see the sword i don't see scales um but as the mind is open judgment is revealed the white ring between her eyes oh yes representing the circular nature of time has been broken in order for a profound shift in development to begin something calls from the abyss within to the infinite beyond higher meaning greater depth a radical intimacy with yourself your past your nature in this moment of scrutiny now is the time to change evolve step up to the role that the universe always intended for you so that i mean it's great that we get a book that tells you about um, the story of the card, you know, what's actually being depicted. Because I look at this and I thought, well, that's a beautiful card, but I can't see judgment in it. So to be able to read, um, you know, the, the, the story for the card. And as I said, the, the aces follow, it's like a desert scene with this scorching, searing kind of red sky and sun and sand and the kind of pyramids and mountains in the back. It really depicts this uh, fiery energy quite well. That's an interesting seven. And the snakes for the eight of wands. I mean, normally we're seeing these kind of eight wands flying through the sky, but we get a tangled kind of um, mess of snakes here. Again, we don't get a lot of, we get for the extra cards actually a page each, but um, for the minors, we get these symbols. So if we've got cups, here we are, we have the wands. So for the eight, it says, a mass of snakes replaces the wands. Everything flows with spontaneity, grace and speed. Everything is in continuous change. And whilst the direction is not yet clear, all will be grounded in the end. <laughs> yeah, even those flying ones are grounded in the end. They have a target. It's beautiful. The kings and queens in this deck are really beautiful as well. I love the different kind of hands here, the different skin tones, the two of cups. So it's interesting we get two females in the lovers and two females in the two of cups too. Three. Now, this is one of my favourite cards. I think this is gorgeous for the Six of Cups. Just look at that. These two children at play. They're playing out at night. They've got the lamb. They're playing with the cups. It's a crescent moon. Really gorgeous image. Very interesting turn out. It's very female centric, this deck. Um, there are males in the deck, um, but you know, a lot of the cards, like the lovers, the two of cups, the you know, um, ten of cups, quite female, and even our page and night. And I don't have an issue with that 
at all. He's very sort of uh, Poseidon, isn't he? So we get very similar for the um, the aces with the hands. Oh wow, look at that, the heartbreak card. It's almost like the last goodbye, that embrace. You can see the pain. Six of swords, taking some swans across. He looks like he's about to be executed or sacrificed. And that's a, an, an interesting nine. She doesn't look that perturbed by her, her night terrors. Quite a traditional ten. And I love the pentacles, the colours and the the burst of greens, just stunning. I mean, look at that. Look at the five, look at the tear, she's crying. She's down in the snow. Just gorgeous. And then we have the two bonus cards, which is the white Newman and the black Newman. Let's just see quickly what the book has to say about these two uh, bonus cards. Of course, with this set as well, you get the art print of these, which I, I showed at the beginning. Um, so, and then we get a full page again. So first, we'll look at the, the White Newman. The God's Father run free across the virgin earth's plains in apparent weightlessness. Just like the bison in ancient cave paintings, it traverses the world, making sure that all of creation is in order. Above him, dimensions open and the power of the sun glows between his horns. The bronze stars and the bird guide him as the morning breaks. The white Newman symbolizes creation through action. The perfect and divinely inspired path resulting from movement and momentum. Act, innovate, make the world anew. And then the black Newman says, the two Newmans face their own extinction. Two branches upside down, just about to burn into the sacred fire. The world is about to be spun upside down and yet they guard their altar, which drowns slowly into the depths. Once absorbed by the haze, their sacred nature shall depart. Simple beasts once more, still with the promise of a re-encounter of the divine, the black Newman symbolize clinging onto the causes that may seem lost, distraction and confusion, a challenge to faith with the knowledge that it shall return. So this is beautifully written. And I, as I've said before, I really do like guidebooks that tell you about the scenes that are depicted on the cards, because, you know, when we, when we pick up a deck that is following a, a particular theme or genre that we might not be familiar with, then having that kind of, um, that text that helps you to um, decipher what is happening in the cards is, is a real bonus. So I love it when that happens. So all in all, this is a, a fantastic um, set again from Liminal 11. The quality, as I always mention, is second to none. So you do get the tarot deck, the Oracle deck. You get a bag to put your cards in. You get a spread cloth to lay them on. You get the two art prints of the Black Newman and the White Newman. 
and two sheets of stickers and then your certificate um, for the special edition. I know I'm late to the party with this deck. It's been out for a few months now and lots of people have got it, but let me know, do you have it? I will put the information down below where you can obtain this set because I believe this set, this full set is still available. Um, if you have it, how do you find it? it does it read easy for you? Um, yeah, just, just let me know how, how you get on with this deck and I'll do the same. So thank you for watching and until next time, go in peace, namaste and blessed be.